In this video, we'll take a deep dive in the business of VATEC Vabag, what it does, the sector, its financials, future projections, and more. Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and I welcome you all to this video by Chart Mojo. VATEC Vabag is a company that is primarily involved in the business of water treatment. It comes in the top four companies worldwide in this space. Its key competency lies in the execution of water and wastewater treatment for both public and private sector. The company has three R&D centers, one in Switzerland, one in Austria and one in India. It has over 100 plus patents filed and also has executed over 6000 projects globally. Now let's talk about its global presence. The company has clients across the globe in more than 25 countries. Water solutions offered by Viatech involve sewage water treatment, drinking water treatment, industrial water treatment, desalination and recycling. Now talking about these businesses, the company offers a complete range of solutions for each of the segments. So they provide a complete solution all the way from designing of the project till the operations and management. So the process involves designing, procurement of the material, construction of the plant, installation of the plant, commissioning and operations and management. Now talking about this construction business, the company has taken a different route and has started outsourcing this construction segment which helps them to keep their business and asset low model and also helps them to keep their focus on the technical aspect of these projects which is their core competence. Vietek Vabag is in this business since some time now. They started their business in 1996. In 1997, they got their first order from Reliance Industry to build an ETP in their Jamnagar refinery which was also the biggest ETP in Asia back then. Recently in 2016, the company backed its biggest project ever from Petronas Malaysia for building an integrated ETP. The company hasn't had a smooth sailing. Back in 2014, Vietek Vabag bid for two projects in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana for Power Generation Corporation. They had a 15% share in this project and the remaining was with Tepcro System Limited and Gamma India. But after a while, Vietek Vabag had to take over the entire project because Tepcro System Limited became financially unstable. The company is yet to receive its due from AP Genco and TS Genco worth over 200 crores as a part of normal contract term. And according to all the informations, it might take some while for the company to receive all its dues. The company also got a huge offer from AGCC which is into the oil and gas sector in Russia. Though back then it was considered a breakthrough deal for Vietek Vabak, but due to the recent escalation between Russia and Ukraine, the stock has come under pressure and the company is trading below 25% from its all-time high. Due to better free cash flow generation, the company has managed to reduce its debt which has in turn reduced its interest payment and has improved its OPM. Also the shift towards the technological aspect of this business, Wabak has reduced its input cost and has thus improved its OPM. The government's push towards water management and its schemes such as Har Ghar Nal Yojana can act as a key growth driver for Vietek Wabag if it manages to back these deals. The management of the company has said that it has seen some huge traction in the green hydrogen space too. The key component in generating power from hydrogen is water and these plants are usually located near coastal areas. But seawater is not suitable for these projects and hence needs to be desalinated. And this is where Vabak comes into the picture. The company is expecting around 25,000 crore worth of deals from the green hydrogen space for the desalination plant in the next 2-3 years. Vietech will also bid for a desalination plant in Chennai which will be the largest desalination plant in India with the capacity of 400 million litres per day output. Vietech Vabag has a history of working closely with the Chennai Municipal Corporation and thus is expecting to back this deal. Now let's look at the fundamentals of the company. The company has a market cap of 1889 crores. The stock P is now at 14.3. The company has a debt to equity ratio of 0.34 which the company is, uh, you know, expecting to get it down to zero in the next two to three years. Viatech has a sales growth of 17.4%, but its debtor days is very high at 170 days, which shows that the company is not efficient enough to collect the money from its client. Now let's look at the shareholding pattern of the company as of 31st December 2021. Promoters are holding a 21.7%, which is considered low. The FIIs are having around 18.4%. DIIs are holding around 3.6% and public has 56.64%. In this public segment, Rakesh Junjunwala bought this company for a stake of 8.4% at the market price of 160 rupees. The current market price of the company is at 304 rupees as of today. Now let's look at the quarter numbers, the Q3 numbers specifically and will also include the 9 month FI22 numbers as well. The company's order book stands at 10,000 crore rupees. 
it got an order of around 2800 crore rupees in the q3 itself and the company is targeting double digit growth in its order book the q3 numbers on year on year basis are as follows company's revenue was up 14% year on year basis its earning before interest tax depreciation and amortization stands at 23% and the growth in pat which is nothing but profit after tax stands at 35% the company also managed to improve its ebitda margin from 8.8% to 10.6% owing to its focus on technological aspect which has reduced its input cost also the reduction in debt has allowed them to reduce its interest cost and the company is confident enough to keep the opm at this level or even improving it in the future Moving forward the company has said that it will focus more on international and industrial projects. Now let's look at the key orders that the company has received this fiscal. It has backed an integrated industrial effluent treatment plant in Russia worth 1221 crores, a 550 million liter per day desalination plant in UAE worth 730 crores, and a new effluent treatment plant for Petronas in Malaysia worth 85 crores. Finally let's have a look at the management they have an average experience of around 30 years in the water sector and the promoter is also recognized among the top 3 water leaders globally water scarcity is an issue that is not new for anyone and as the ground water level depletes even further there is only one source of water that can be used and that is sea water but to use that we need a lot of desalination plant and at a lower cost as well and this is where viatech wabak can come into the picture it has already started desalination plants across the world and with the technological advancement the input cost will only reduce from here the company seems to be moving in the right direction but it will be very interesting how they can sustain the opm levels and the roc levels as well that's all for today i hope you like our content if you do then consider subscribing to our channel and do share it with your friends and family till then take care and i'll see you all in the next video